dementia researcher with a blog and a rating. Hello and thanks for checking this post out. Have you ever been questioned by a supervisor, colleague or member of the public about what certain term actually means? For me this word was value. Value quickly became the focal word that the PhD research questions, aims and methodology grew from. Social value is the primary concept, the value that would be used in the PhD. However, it was assumed that being able to conceptualise value in the context of the research more specifically will improve the quality of the thesis. In hindsight, an incredibly optimistic piece of work. I'm not sure why I thought I could do any better than the likes of Aristotle and Smith. But anyway, I had a crack. Concepts of value have evolved and gained significance in modern times, particularly in health and social care. From an economic perspective, value is defined in terms of utility, benefit obtained from the resources available. Value is also socially constructed, though, by what is being produced or depleted in everyday interactions. There is no consistency to the definitions of value in health and social care, which is problematic for understanding what we mean by value and how it is applied in relation to community-based interventions for people affected by dementia. A concept analysis was undertaken to define value in the context of community-based interventions for people affected by dementia, and unsurprisingly findings highlight the complexity and challenges of defining value in this context, but also the usefulness of concept analysis to build understanding of the concept's essential elements and relationships. In this post I briefly explain what concept analysis is and how it may be of use to you, how and why I used it, and what it told me about defining value in this context. Concept analysis is traditionally used in research and theory development to provide clarity to an abstract idea. There are several approaches to concept analysis, all of which share a similar purpose to determine the defining attributes and characteristics of the concept. I have recommended some reading at the bottom of the post. I opted for Roger's evolutionary concept analysis which explores the contextual basis of a concept to understand the situations and variances in which the concept is used by people with diverse perspectives to explain the current status of the concept. The analysis followed stages of Rogers' framework, which are 1. Definitions and wider use of value, 2. Surrogate terms, 3. Contextual basis, 4. Model of the concept, 5. Conclusion, and finally 6 implications for further development of the concept. To make this post digestible and remotely interesting though, I've skipped the background stuff and search design and started the fun stuff, the findings. Definitions and wider use of value. Economic and sociological inspired definitions that are acontextual were found in the literature, along with adapted and operationalized definitions of both value and added value. Broader concepts of value, such as social value and value-based healthcare, were also featured. Surrogate terms. Surrogate terms are those identified in the literature that are used to express the concept. Benefit, impact, importance and appreciate were frequent terms. The relationship between terms that can be grouped into subjective and objective is interactive and developmental. For instance, the belief, meaning and importance attached to community-based interventions by researchers, allied professionals and people ultimately rationalises and determines benefit, effectiveness and impact. Word classes were also identified, including valued, values, valuable, valuing and valuation. The limited number of definitions, multiple word classes and surrogate terms used interchangeably at times added complexity to the analysis and further justifies the need for better understanding of what value actually means. Contextual basis of the concept. To define the concept, the contextual and temporal basis or antecedents and consequences were identified. Literature provided two definitive and distinctly interrelated antecedents. A need or desire to understand the views and experience of people affected or that affect community-based interventions and to demonstrate, prove or disprove the best quality and nature of results relating to community-based interventions. 
Antecedents determine the consequences. Consequences of value found worth shared decision making, valuation and internal and external investment and development. Attributes. Attributes are the defining characteristics of the concept found in the analysis. These were stakeholder and person centred, measurable, time and context dependent and multidimensional. And those dimensions were health, social and economic. The generalizable nature of these attributes mean they cannot be applied to a precise instance of the concept with definition. And therefore my ambition of defining value in the concept of community-based interventions fell well short. However, I feel there is still valuable insight from the piece of work. Concept model. Despite the lack of detailed information required for a pure definition, I was able to develop a model of the concept that's similar to the usefulness of illustrating it and describing an intervention's process or theory of change, can be used to deliver a shared understanding, inform research agenda and practice, and support application of the concept. In summary, using concept analysis, while not solving the problem of pinning down value, did help me identify and explain the varying ways value is created and conceptualised in this concept in context and how parts of the value equation combine, providing a broad but integrated concept. The hope is that I can publish an art- article from the analysis and the space in which questions and hypotheses can be created that can drive concept development. Again, maybe a little optimistic. Implications for further concept development. What I believe to be most important stage in the process of concept analysis is this idea of further concept development. There were several factors that I feel should not be ignored when considering value. These were context, stakeholder involvement and research approach. Contextual factors influence on definitions of value cannot be overstated. Without appreciating context, there is no appraisal of complexity which is fundamental to understanding why and how interventions work. Facilitating stakeholder perspectives will ensure concept development is socially relevant. While literature reviews support our understanding of value, they cannot consolidate it. This was a limitation of the analysis. Many studies assert the importance of time frame and comparison trials and understanding and determining value. This is challenging because rigorous, longitudinal comparison studies are cost and resource heavy, underappreciate context and wider factors and generalise information that can oversimplify complexity and thus value. Many thanks for taking the time to read or listen. And as always, please feel free to contact me with any criticisms or questions. Ta. Thank you for listening. Join the Dementia Research bloggers and share your own views.